Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Roysom. In this video, we discuss how the same spreading mode can have several different design implementations. We also discuss how the same exact design can run in distinctly different modes. Focus will be on the bowed roller and its several variations. In the spreading module of my Web 101 class, we discuss in great detail all of the different spreader types and variations and applications. While most spreaders are used for wrinkle prevention, in that class we discuss other uses as well as some very common fallacies with regard to spreading. In this video, we focus on two concepts that are not as well known as they should be. The first is that the same mode of operation can be achieved by very different designs. For example, the bent pipe spreading mode or principle can be achieved by bent pipes, over bowed, bowed rollers, hyper crowned rollers, and the D-bar. The second is that the same exact spreader design can run in distinctly different spreading modes. An example is the same bowed roller might run in the bowed roller, bent pipe, dual bowed roller, or tandem bowed roller modes. It is extremely important that you know what mode each of your spreaders is to operate in so that you can apply it properly. The most common result of improper application is not spreading or even lack of spreading. It is the tendency to wrinkle. Knowing the big picture, the web handling principles and the details are all vital to spreading success. The single bowed roller is one of the most widely used of spreaders in the web industry. Yet, many do not know that it can operate in two distinctly different modes. Perhaps the most common in web manufacturing, such as paper and film, is the bowed roller mode. In contrast, in tissue manufacturing, as well as in much of converting, you may see the bent pipe mode more commonly. In any case, the application, design details, and web handling principles are quite different. Perhaps the easiest way to tell which mode you are running is to see which bow orientation works best. Bow orientation can often be seen by the arrow on the end of the roller. In the bowed roller mode, the bow points approximately in the direction of web travel. In the bent pipe mode, the bow will be pointed into the web a bit or a bunch more than that. The next two differences are vital to understanding how to make the spreader work in the two different modes. In the bowed roller mode, traction across the entire width is essential and as such, the bow magnitude must be modest. In the bent pipe mode, sliding is inevitable and it is possible to hide big bows a little bit by turning the bow out of the web run a bit as shown in the picture. It is possible to put more than one spreader back to back. Here again, we have different modes of operation that have distinctly different design details. More important is to note how the bows point in quite different directions. Also observe the absolutely parallel bow orientations as well as absolutely parallel ingoing and outgoing web paths. Complicated and fussy geometries are part of the challenge of running these most powerful spreaders without causing wrinkling. All of these dual element spreaders require expertise possessed by only a few builders and suppliers. Thank you so very much for watching this module in my plant practical series. In the next module, we will say a bit about bowed roller sizing. If you want to learn more about the principles and details of spreading, consider signing up for my very popular web handling and converting seminar.